the word of prophecy really has no time limit on it. What it has is an appointed time for fulfillment. I hope you understand what I just said. Some people would say, well, if it don't happen in this amount of time, it ain't going to happen. Well, they're not God. This is why we have to know our God. Because if God tells us this is going to happen, bank on it, it will happen. If he tells you by this time next year, Abraham and Sarah, you're going to have a son. Well, by this time next year, you're going to have a son. Why? Because God said it's going to happen and this is the appointed time for it. You ever wonder why Jesus came at the time that he came? Why didn't he come immediately after Adam and Eve sinned? Why didn't he come during the time of David? Why did he come at the time that he came? Why didn't he come later in our day? Seems like we'd have a better advantage of believing in him. Jesus came at the appointed time that the Father determined. And guess when Jesus is coming back in the cloud? At the appointed time of the Father. So you can't put no deadlines on the Father. You can't put no pressure on him. You can't make him move faster than what he's already moving. The only thing that the just can do is live by faith. Live by faith, trusting, hoping, believing, knowing what he said he'll do. And if he spoke it, he'll certainly make it good. 